Looks like we have our gear over here. Probably want to suit up before we exit in space. Little Scout, see beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. Neat. Health and fuel full. Oh, apparently we can heal and refuel here. Okay. Star chart. Power Glass Twins, Timber Hearth, Battle Rock. Brutal Hollow, that's where I want to go. Yep, Giant's Deep. Yep, that must be the thing I saw explode. Oh, the interloper. <laughs> it's kind of weird they name a common interloper. That sounds bad. Dark Bramble. Yeah. Close just like the statue. Rumor mode. Ooh. Village. The one and only Hearthian village as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. <laughs> really? Main source? What's the other source? The Nawai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights in my own memories. Yeah, I, I remember that. Zero G cave. I repaired a satellite. Alright, so someone suggested the lunar ruins. Here there are Nomai ruins somewhere on the outer rock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the outer rock. Esker. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the outer rock. They've been there by themselves for a long while. Gabro. Hal says Gabro went back to Giant Steve to try to learn more about the Nomai statue. You know, I appreciate you rumors, but we're going to Brittle Hollow. I've decided. Oh, gravity crystal. That probably is very helpful when we're in space. Is that a water heater? <laughs> Maybe it's the reactor. I'm a little concerned all the wood, like... What is that piece of wood even doing? Like, it's not even holding anything on. Okay, we're just, we're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, we're just going to come over here. And oxygen refill. Spot a tree. Walk towards it. Enjoy. <laughs> that seems easy. What are these tick marks? Huh. Ooh. Nice. Hole. Oh, I don't need to look at that. Um, view map. Brutal Hollow. That's where we want to go. How, e how easy it is to orbit. Like, all you need is forward thrust. Oh! That's where that picture was taken. Neat. Okay, anyway. Pearl Hollow, where are you at? Oh, apparently the planet's between us now. And the sun is also between us. Let's not use the autopilot. If I recall correctly, Slate mentioned the avoidance system not working. So let's go. So we are around the sun. All right, now I'll go for it. Boom, got it. So we're gonna see if we can find this banjo player. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't need that.
Galaxy Fire. Back it off, back it off, back it off. A, 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 A. from the South Pole has been, um, I'm gonna go with harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old on my path that starts to cross from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Yeah, let's do it. Which one has trees growing out of it? Not that one. Oh, you can just take snapshots. So I've noticed both here and on Timber Hearth that if there's ghost matter, there's these little crystal-y things. Oh, I did no my. Oh, this is the one the tree's going out of. All right, let's go here. Whoa. Wait, jetpack booster. Alright, Ryback, I'm coming for ya. He's like, straight down. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh, and I said Brittle Hollow. They were not kidding. It is certainly hollow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And apparently it's brittle. black hole. That thing got disintegrated. Let's not go there ever. Herc, well, that was deeply unpleasant. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the gravity stones. I made it this far though. Guess that's the point to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. <laughs> as soon as I can stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down so I can refill my tank. Ryback, right you are hilarious. like a black hole. Let's let's not go there. <laughs> Made it. Nice. Let's have a celebratory marshmallow. Yum. 
on on now. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess it means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is brutal hollow, but you probably knew that. Whoa, that bridge. Yikes. Um, lots of hysteria here. It's great. What are you doing here? I hear you see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our food species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the best place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... yeah. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble? What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timberheart Scott right now. Bird Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Bird Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help? Huh. See you later, friend. What's all this? Oh. That's convenient. Where are these? Ooh, what's that? Oh, I broke it. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Whoa. Apparently I didn't. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ooh. I was hoping this works the same way my... Welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh, cool. Apparently that's a... Uh, purple glow means gravity. Or anti gravity, as the case may be. But how the heck am I supposed to get up there? Um, so you said that old scout can detect. Integrity 2%. Oh, there's cool stuff out there. And symbols and junk. Uh oh, uh oh. Um. 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 No. No, 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 no.
I think we just fell through a black hole. Um, well, I guess the answer is that question. We don't need to figure out how to climb up there because we're already here. Ha. ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded at Brittle Hollow and at Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. Mr. Maya looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Namai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall those Namai and carry their curiosity outward with you. Or onward. That's really cool. Welcome, Solonim. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Apparently there's something on Giant's Deep. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. Huh. Interesting. So, I guess there's a Quantum Moon, we've just learned. Bridge, guys. Oh, I think that might be it over there. What? That doesn't sound good. Whoa. Huh. This must be the supernova I've heard so much about. I'm done. Oh, 
there's the statue again, sort of. And my life is flashing before my eyes again. That's cool. first. Wait, did I just die or something? Uh, no? You have a bad dream? I want to ask how you got the code, so hurry up and launch before one falls decides to ground you for medical reasons. I want to see where the new co cockpit stays attached during liftoff. <laughs> well, I can tell you the cockpit does stay attached. Good job, Slate. So as we were doing things, it said it updated the log. Rybex Camp, Hanging City. Oh wow, a whole bunch of unrelated stuff. There's a huge in my city just to the north of Rybex Camp site. Rybex Camp. Rybex set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. His excitement being surrounded by so much of my history is matched only by his terror of the black hole. Rybeck is Timberhart's only archaeologist. He overcame his fear of the space to explore Riddle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Southern Observatory. Rybeck says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. He tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. I built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember its final rule to explore six locations, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. There's more to explore here. wait so long for it to fall through the thing again. Quantum Shrine. The Maya built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Sixth location. Many of the Maya went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Okay. So... Back to Brilla Hollow, maybe? What's that? <gasps> I bet that's the quantum moon. Well, let's go pay it a visit, shall we?
There it is. Autopilot engaged. Well, I should probably slow down a little bit. stuff coming out of it. And I saw it was between me and the star, so I think this might be it. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Stop. Well, that's neat. surface here. stone. I mean, this is the stone that I could have placed on the thing. Welcome to the White Hole Station. Did you fall through the black hole by accident? Don't worry, you aren't the first. You can use this warp tower to return to Brittle Hollow. Warp towers work like this. Stand in the middle of the platform on the floor, look up, and wait. Path opens in the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. It doesn't look like it's rotating, though. Yeah, that should indicate that it is not. Whoa. 
looks like we're uh, rolling. <laughs> if I teleport to Brittle Hollow, though, the only way I'm going to be able to get back here is by purposely jumping into the black hole. Doesn't seem ideal. Whoa. Departure time 648.43209, arrival time 648.43208. So I arrived one ten thousandth of a second before I left. That's cool. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying there's slept across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. You can use it, but you have to replace it, okay? <laughs> okay. The hanging city below. Looks like this is the up elevator, and this is the broken down elevator. Of course it is. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked, we successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Casalva, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, that would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. Cassava, I hope you're reading this. Don't tell Cassava. That's funny. Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Well, it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Oh, hey, look. I think we can... Remy and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Namaya arriving at warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Claire and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I was off by a digit. Oops. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Amaya arrive in Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporting? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Y yes, I hope so too. Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Okay. Apparently the Ember Twin might be our next port of call. Interesting. 
I guess it must be like seeing. shaped hot Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. There's more to explore here. Of course there is. White Hole Station. To use a Nomai warp tower, stand in the middle of the platform on the floor and wait until the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai noticed something strange. Warped objects appeared to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule. Roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. Negative time interval measure the White Hole Station was further investigated the high energy lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. <laughs> Just have a bunch of unrelated jumble going on here. What's this? Oh hey city. Since it's sharp and haunting, I would give nothing, anything not to know it, anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you're safe, Keek, wherever you are. Who the heck is Keek?
Yeah, that is it. So there's more for me to explore here. Oh, maybe these writings at the bottom. Wait, no, I read this one. Knowledge first thing, yeah. Thank you. See the move, is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you. Record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could be what is causing other nearby objects to move about in this area.
that's not quite the same angle it was at last time, is it? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm just going to check the ship's log for what's been updated, and then I'm going to call it quits for the evening. View ship log. Shard, a strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determine the shard as the recent objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesize that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. This shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giants. So, I have a few different unrelated things to look at. Um, thinking we'll investigate Timber Hearth next. Look for quantum signals that we just picked up on our signal scope. Apparently, there are two signals. the one in the uh, observatory. fun next time quantum signals on timber hearth